Hello, and welcome to episode two of the Wildcat Wire, uh, the show that highlights the experiences, struggles, and personal lives of student athletes. Uh, we're your hosts. I'm Luke Bulabosh with Gabby Cunningham and Aaron Yowitz. Uh, and today we're going to talk uh, about the lacrosse season with Ryan Lehman. Uh, we'll also discuss the ins and outs of the process of looking into colleges. Our guest today is Ryan Lehman. She is a sophomore midfielder for the girls lacrosse team. And she is here today to share some experiences of the lacrosse season, some details about looking into colleges, and maybe some interesting stories. Hi, Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, we're going to start with how long have you been playing lacrosse? Um, I started playing lacrosse in eighth grade, and I've been playing ever since then. So how did you start, like, how do you get into lacrosse? So, like, my dad started coaching boys, and, like, he was, like, telling me, when I was in seventh grade, he started coaching boys, and he was, like, oh, like, you should play, like, it'll be cool, like, it's fun. But I didn't want to because I didn't want to wear a skirt, and so I didn't <laughs> play in seventh grade. But I ended up joining in uh, eighth grade, and we didn't wear skirts. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favorite part of the season this year? Uh, Probably just, the like, everything with the team. Like, our team's so good, and everyone's just, like, well, like, we're not, like, crazy at the sport, but, like, everyone's good. Like, they all have good personalities, and no one's, like, mean. Everyone's just friends. It's really fun. And then looking into next year, how do you plan to push the team for your junior year? Um, I definitely think we should condition a lot more because, like, we kind of – we don't – we want to work, but then, like, the second we talk about, like, actually doing it, <laughs> we're like, oh, like, we don't want to run. So I think we just need to work harder and we need to want it more. Okay, so we're going to move on and talk about some people who have impacted you, um, your club team, and some stories you have from playing. So who would you say has had the most impact on your lacrosse career? Probably my dad. Like, through, like he's always, if I ever need help with drills or anything, like, he's always right there. Like, he, he wants to help me. He wants to push me as far as he, he can. And he comes out for a ton of games, even though he lives, like, pretty far away. So it's really cool. And then what would you say some obstacles that you have had to overcome are? Um, I think probably the biggest obstacle would be last year, um, whenever – I, so I broke my right arm. I broke her arm. No, 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 no that's the <laughs> left one. The, I wow, broke my right down. arm roller Sorry. skating. Um, and then I came to practice, and it wasn't bad. Like, I was just in a brace. And I came to practice the next day to tell my coach that I have to leave early to go to Children's to look at my right arm. And, and in that time, me and Aaron uh, ran for a ground ball, <laughs> and I tripped over her <laughs> stick, and I fell on my stick, and I ended up, like, completely fracturing both bones of my left arm. And so... Aaron had to go get the trainer, and yeah. I had to get surgery on my arm, and <laughs> it, was, it was great. But Two she went to the arms. hospital anyway. So. I did. Still went to Children's. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, what was that like for you? Like, um, it that? Was, ugh, that was not a fun day. I don't know. I just, like, I know that she loved lacrosse so much, and so it just really kind of sucked for me. Like, I watched her arm break, and I knew that, like, <laughs> I had something to do with it. And I know, like, we always say it wasn't, like, either of our faults really it was just an unfortunate event but I just know like that was really hard on me to just keep going and then like she couldn't play the rest of the season so I felt really bad but she, I think she honestly is better from it but look at us now <laughs> yeah it, it taught me how to tell me how to work harder put a lot of a lot of work in, in the off season and then we'll switch over and do you have like what's your favorite memory from your time playing oh my favorite memory that one's hard probably like when we when we beat Greensburg Salem in overtime, because that was like, I never, we never won a lacrosse game. My my eighth grade season, we were not good. My and then I my freshman season got cut short, so I didn't. We didn't win any when I played, and that game it was just it was great. We had so much fun, and we all worked hard. So yeah. Um. And then when did you start playing club lacrosse? I started playing club fall of this year. So, like I signed up, but I didn't get in in time for summer. So I started playing in the fall, and we did, like, a winter league, and it just helped me build my skills, too. Yeah, and so would you say, like, that's just had an impact on your playing? Yeah, like, the coaches are great, and, like, it, you really get to meet a ton of people. Like, when we, we, when we went to the tournaments in our preseason, I saw a ton of, like, my coaches, because they coach for, like, Bethel and, like, other teams. And so I got to see them. I got to see people I played with, and it was just, it was just really good. Uh, how have, like, like – any seniors this year, like, how have they, like, helped you to, like, improve or just, like, been, like, good in the locker room or anything like that? They're all, like, they're all so sweet and they're so nice. Like, they make you feel really welcomed. 
and they're they're really they'll talk to you about anything they'll help you out um if like you need help with a drill or if you don't know what's going on they know how to talk game they understand the game and they're good at advocating to our coach for like what underclassmen want or need or need help with and they're really good at pep talks like I feel like they've all been yeah. in our position and so just like before a game when I get nervous they always they help so much they hype us all up yeah yeah do you have any like favorite memories or anything from like not just seniors just like throughout like the team like this year last year I think just like honestly the bus rides are so fun like back from away games and stuff because we just we all talk and it's like just you make new friends people who didn't know stuff about you they know new stuff and just new jokes and stuff it's just it's just a really it's really common on the bus it, I think we've had the conversation with like three different people about how picky Ryan is yeah eating. about the food <laughs> and it just keeps <laughs> happening because I know like you always sit by different people on the bus and so it's nice to just kind of get to, I think you get to know your team better mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just hang out with everyone okay so I think we're gonna go move on and uh, talk about uh, college and your search and recruitment process uh, so we'll start off like what's your what's your dream college or like what are you what are you thinking about attending at first it was I mean I have a hoodie on right now at first it was <laughs> USC like because I want I wanted to be a director that's changed a little bit but they have a really good directing program they're right like next to Hollywood so I always was like oh like California super nice like I always wanted to go there but I started going to some Penn State camps and I, don't, I love Penn State like it's so nice and it's right here too so I would love to go to Penn State. Mm-hmm. Are those like the only two you've been thinking about or have you been like have you looked at any others or I would say those are like my dream schools like Mm -hmm. if I but like obviously like those are D1 and I would like to play lacrosse there so like that's it's a really hard goal and so I've kind of been all over the place like I I would love to go to any D1 school Mm -hmm. like if I could just because that's like a goal for me and it would be such an accomplishment but I don't know I just want to go somewhere with like a good like arts program yeah so that goes into our next question. So you said you do play, plan to play, like, lacrosse in college. Yeah. Have you, like, looked into their, like, programs and stuff and coaches even? Yeah, like, for Penn State, I went to a prospect clinic for them this, uh, maybe, like, in the winter. I don't even know what season. <laughs> but me and uh, my friend Allie went to that. And it was it was really good. They showed us all, like, their student-athlete programs. Like, you're required to study for so many hours in, like, it's like it's for just student athletes, and it. I think that will help me a ton. Like I really like that, but like I've definitely looked at the teams and like what like we've looked into like what uh, questions asked like college coaches based off like scholarships and just with the team. So yeah. Mm. So like, uh, what have you done like to get noticed, or what would you like recommend if you have any advice to like get out there in college and just like get your name out there for colleges mm-hmm. to see. Um, definitely, like, there's a few, like, apps, like, NCSA, like, you can use to look at colleges you're compatible with and just look at different division levels and stuff, and then I would research those college colleges and then look at, like, their prospect clinics and their camps and how you can get in touch with their coaches, because then you can just, you can go directly to, because a lot of them have prospect clinics, so you can go directly there mm-hmm. and perform in front of those coaches, and then you can also do, like, showcases a lot of tournaments like my club team has like a recruiting program so like I have a recruiter on my club team who help like advocate for me to coaches so Mm -hmm. stuff like that uh so I know you said you wanted to like something like like a director in college is that like you absolutely want to follow that or are you still like undecided I would say I'm pretty undecided Mm -hmm. like I like I like film and I like like media and taking pictures and stuff but, like, I don't know. Like, I th- I think a director would be fun, but I also like photography. And I like, like, taking pictures of animals. Like, I feel like wildlife photography would be really mm-hmm. cool. But some- just something like that. Yeah. So if you if you were to pursue, like, that, like, photography or animal photography, w- would you still consider, like, USC and Penn State? Or would yeah. you look other I think I would. I mean, USC, it just I think it has a good film program, so it probably has a good photography, yeah. f- photography program with that. And, I mean, Penn State, it's, like, here, and I feel like they probably do. I haven't really looked as much into it because Penn State, it just, like, recently came up, and I've recently just been like, oh, I want to go there. Mm-hmm. But I'm still, like, my ideas are all over the place for what I want to do. Okay, yeah. so you play field hockey, too. So how does mm-hmm. lacrosse kind of compare to field hockey in terms of, like, what I – mean, I mean, I know, like, lacrosse is your main sport, but just kind of – Like, lacrosse, I think – 
I lacrosse I'm very like I'm much more dedicated to. Like for field hockey, I would say after field hockey practice to practice lacrosse. But I think it's it's super nice that the coaches are like pretty much the same because we're with like our coaches year round. We're with Coach V and, and Beetle and Katie all, all year. We see them like at least once a week, pretty much for the whole year. But the field hockey team it's definitely like it's less competitive because there's like less people. You don't have to fight for your spot to start as much. But, like, for lacrosse, like, there's so many people. And it's just, like, yeah. It's two different environments for sure. (laughs) Thanks, Ryan, for sharing your experiences. Good luck with everything you do in the future. And thank you for joining us here on the Walk Out Wire. Thank you for having me.